Listen up there. Come on, let's go. Hold on a sec. I'm whipped. I'm not even sure I've got it in me. Mr. Fielding, if we don't get there first, they will. All right. Let's go. Next shot won't miss, boys. Drop him or lose him. Who do you think you are, Daniel Boone? You got no right to steal our pelt. You're poaching on my property, friend. You got no rights at all. He's dead, Jack. Mr. Fielding? You're about to see what we mean in Alaska when we talk about justice. I'm getting away with this. I got a CB in my truck and I'm calling the police. Well, I suggest you use that CB to call the garage down at the junction. What are you talking about? Well, it seems we came across your truck on the way up here. I did a little work on the distributor. Didn't turn out so good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I haven't felt this good in 20 years. What's next? Ow! Bury the wolf. Backtrack. Backtrack? What for? Find whatever it was she was protecting. Well, I'll be. <laughs> hey there, you. There's only one. Oh, she must have lost the rest of them. No wonder she was trying so hard to lead those poachers away. How big will he be? Full grown. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Looks like Mama Wolf was stepping out with a Malamute. <laughs> He's not all wolf. 50 pounds? 60? Yeah, about that. Boy. Jack, there are days when I get back to L.A., get caught up in all that nonsense of finance and dollars and corporate madness. And all the times I spend up here begin to seem like a dream. I'm barely even sure they happen. You know, I to take something like that back with me. To remind me of those things that are really important in this life. I really don't know. I mean, I'd have to train him before I'd let you take him back to the city. Fair enough. Need a lot of space. Need a lot of space. Done? Done. Here you go. And if something were to happen to me, I'd hope I'd have a friend who'd come on down to lower 48 and take care of him as he deserved to be taken care of. the only thing that could get me into the city. That's a fact. And close
closer to home, the financial and communications communities today were shaken by news of the unexpected passing of Winston Fielding. Fielding, who founded the international firm that bears his name with a single radio station in 1956, was 62. Take care. Yes, can I help you? I suppose you can. Uh, Mr. Fielding and I had some times. I've come to pay my respects and pick up my wolf. talk about him all the time, but no, I never met him. And his name is? Jack McCall. Are you talking to me? Uh, no, no, just commenting on your animal there. What percentage wolf is it? Oh, enough. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sit. Good. Is uh, something wrong? No, uh, not really. I, I just wanted to say that... I was sorry to hear about your father's passing. He was a good man, one of the best. I put out a glass of whiskey for him. I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, you see, when a good mountain man dies, you put out a plate of biscuits and a glass of whiskey. Then you light a candle so his spirit can find it in the dark. When the wind blows the candle out, you down the whiskey and offer up a good thought. I've never heard of anything like that before. No, I guess you wouldn't. I don't know how you hear anything living in the city. I don't know how you do it. If you don't mind, I'll just uh, take my wolf and go. Uh, no, Mr. McCall, I'm afraid not yet. Excuse me? I've just been speaking to Winston's lawyer. He'd like you here for the viewing of the will. Viewing? Afternoon, or evening, or morning, <laughs> whenever it is you're going to be looking at this. There's the date and time in the lower right-hand corner of your screen there. So you'll know when this was done. When is easy to explain. <laughs> Why I'm doing this might be a bit more complicated. This is my last will and testament, and I'm doing it this way in order to say things directly. No whereases are here for us. And explain why I've decided to dispose of my ill-gotten gains as I have. Actually, I'm tired of, 
apologizing for being rich. My gains are not ill-gotten at all. I work hard for what I've built, and I've got every right to be proud of it and to dispose of it as I see fit. First, of course, household staff is Gretchen. Dear Gretchen, Gretchen's dedication to my physical well-being and the efficient running of the household is a contribution I cannot overlook. I therefore bequeath her the sum bringing me to the man who will be entrusted with protecting the future of our company and its holdings. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep those files. Hey, you. Hey! Yeah? Can you read that sign? Yeah? Well, can you see what that animal is doing? Yeah? Well, what are you going to do about it, cowboy? Well, uh, I didn't teach that animal to do that particular trick. And just as I am no cowboy, that's not really your standard kind of dog. So there's nothing I can do about that. Name? We've been in some tight spots, this gentleman and I. Spots that might have caused a lesser man to give up. What is the matter? I don't want to hear any more about it. Hey, I got it. And while this gentleman may not have great experience in the publishing and communications industry, he does have experience in being his own man. He is truly and honestly the freest man I know. What about my animal? Maybe if we just sat down and talked. I'm going to sit down and talk Come to on, a lawyer. Please. That's what I'm going to do. Hey. Wait a minute. The man that was with this animal. Where, what happened to him? Where did he go? Oh, lady, that man's on his way to jail. Easy. Come on. Magical World of Disney will return after these messages. Hey, dude. You holding? Holding? Cigarettes, name it. You gotta buy protection. Protection from what? Me. You. That's right. I'm a chief. Well, tell me something, chief. Is this your wigwam? Wigwam? The gang, man, the chiefs. I'm Tony Cruz of the chiefs. Hey, you don't pay protection in here, something bad's liable to happen to you. Last thing that threatened me was nine feet tall. Weighed the better part of a ton. Had teeth on him about that long. It was covered with white fur. You know, that white fur sure looks good in front of my fireplace.
Got a feeling you won't look so good. McCall, Jack, front and center. Somebody made your bail. <laughs> Great. Hey, dude, you looking for your gum? Move it. There's got to be some kind of mistake. You don't know how I wish that was so, but it's not. Look, I know I made a deal with your father and we shook hands, but I don't know anything about publishing newspapers or, or, or television. That's obvious. Unfortunately, my father didn't show you with you. All right, so he left you all of his stock and put me in charge? No, 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 no. As trustee, you control my shares of the company. Unless... What? Unless what? We need time. Time to talk to the lawyers to straighten things out. You'll be well paid. You can use the guest bedroom. Too, I don't right? want to be well paid. I don't need any money. Just give me my wolf and let me go back home. Oh, I wish I could, but it's not that simple. Please, just just give us a few days to get things in order. It's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I don't see the humor. No, I mean, it's funny how life sometimes throws sleet in your face just to see how you can duck it. A lot of guys from the city used to come up north. It was just for show. They wanted to get a picture-perfect postcard tour so they could brag about it, but, uh, not your dad. Now, your dad was a good man. He used to come back from those trips, so... they knew. I'm sorry he never took me along. Oh, he did. He, he took you along. With all the craziness going on, I... forgot to give this to you. He used to keep it with him all the time. He said that uh, you were the most important thing in his life. Last time he was up, <laughs> that was the time that uh, he almost missed his plane back to the States. I found it on the bureau. I figured I'd give it to him next time I saw him. Never figured that there wouldn't be a next time. I could do. Try it. You always sleep in men's underwear? Boxer shorts are considered very in for women. <laughs> well, I hope it's a one-way deal, because I'm not about to cross over. No. What are you doing in my bedroom? I couldn't sleep. The bed was too soft. Felt like I was being swallowed up by a marshmallow. Thought I'd try your roof. Get some air, see some stars. Well, you're not going to find what you're looking for out there. <laughs> Why, what's the matter? You got a roof over your roof? This is the city. The lights from downtown make it impossible to see the stars. Where's the wolf? Said I didn't like the bed. He does. Stay put. Magical World of Disney will return after these messages. It's terrible, isn't it? 
the waiting, I mean. Yes, it is. I noticed it right after dinner. He seemed out of sorts. Didn't want to play. Just seemed off his feed. Wouldn't chase his ball. The dearest, sweetest turtle a person could have. Mrs. Hatton, you can see Terry now, but only for a little while. How is he? Will you have to operate? Probably not. Doctor's not sure he can do it without power tools. Ah. He'll be okay. Denali? Maybe, maybe not. Daddy always said his name was an Indian word, but I never knew what it meant. It means great one. Was it your idea to name him Denali? Who knew I was going to be at your place tonight? Nobody. Well, that's not true. I told Carver. Carver, now that's your brother? No, he's my fiance. Oh, right. You thought he was my brother? Hey, I just got a little mixed up, that's all. That's how you think we relate to each other, like brother and sister? Well, you are a little stiff. A little polite, maybe? I don't know, maybe that's just the way you people are down here. So this, uh, this Carver, now, he was the only one that knew I was going to be at your place tonight? Yes. Well, he might have told Mr. Stepfield they were together. Oh, they were together? Why? Well, there was a meeting of the board of directors probably trying to overturn the will. Why did you think Carver was my brother? It seemed like a fellow without a whole lot of juice. Now, where is this board of directors meeting going to be? How can you tell whether or not a man has got a whole lot of juice from one meeting? Tell me where the board of directors meeting is, and I'll tell you how. The corporate offices, where the will was read. But you'll never get in there. There's a security elevator. It takes a key. I'll get in. Jack, we told the police detective we go back to the station and finish the... There report. is no sense in two people doing the job of one, now, is there? Are you running out? Excuse me? Well, it's just that you wanted to get back to Alaska from the moment you got here, and now somebody plants a bomb and tries to scare you off, and, and it's understandable. I just think you should be honest with me. Are you running out? Number one... Your father put me in his will because he trusted me and he must have thought that you needed a little looking after. And young lady, I don't run out on that. Number two, if somebody is trying to scare me off, then they're riding down the wrong river because I don't get run out and I don't run off. And number three. Yes? I'm not leaving here without my wolf. Absolutely no evidence that Fielding was on any way unbalanced. Oh, come on. The very nature of the will proves that. He left the business to a financial oath. Correction. Fielding left his 51% of the company to his daughter. And he appointed little Abner trustee, so now we can't vote without him. Technically, Mr. Shepard, as Miss Fielding's fiancé, you can't vote regardless. I speak on Constance's behalf. Well... As Winston's partner, I have a very substantial vote. And no financial illiterate is going to run this company. The point is, Fielding was well within his rights, and the two of you are just beating a dead horse. There are no grounds for overturning the will. You're a lawyer. Find a loophole. Well, we better find something fast. The meeting with Graumark is Friday. Oh, I'm calling security. This is trespassing. It's against the law. Let me in. We got something to clear up here and now. You're not making any sense. Well, let me in and I'll make some sense. These windows don't open. What? You mean to tell me that you have an office in a building this big and modern and the windows don't open? What is wrong with you people? I call security. They're on their way right now. Fine. All right, have them come up. What are they going to do? The windows don't open, remember? No wonder Mr. Fielding left me in charge. You boys are in big trouble. down from 
there. Now! Anything you say, you funny stuff, we're gonna put you in a world of hurt. Understand me? Now move it! Sorry, fellas, but you forgot to say please. Hi, we were just about to send out a search party. Did you know it's exactly 34 blocks between here and that office of yours? No, I didn't. The vet gave him a clean bill of health. Let's see. Oh, great. Great. So I guess you got into the board meeting. Well, not exactly. I saw him and I talked to him. Does the name Graumark mean anything? Yes, it's a German investment company. Why? Just curious. You know, last night at the hospital, you said something that um, I'm sure was well meant, but I think it needs to be cleared up. You said that I need looking after, and that's just not true. You sure? Absolutely. Carver's always saying Constance, you're the he most self He calls you Constance? Yes. Doesn't he ever call you Connie? I mean, uh, even when he's excited? Carver doesn't get excited. And besides, we're not talking about Carver, we're talking about you and your paternalistic attitude. Paternalistic attitude? Yes, it means... I know what it means. And believe me, I don't feel like your father. Excuse me, I have to go jogging. Door's not up there. I know where the door is. I just uh, had a couple things I had to do before I go, like put on some lipstick. Put on some lipstick to go jogging. Well, you look better without it. Was that a compliment? No, it's a fact. Just take it any way you like. Hey. Zamar, you want some of this good stuff? There you go. There you go. Cruz, Anthony. Yes! All right! I'll buy you later, Vicky. Cost me every cent I had to get you out of jail. Now you owe me one. Jeez, Louise, all I lifted was your chewing gum. I didn't think it was such a big deal. This is not about chewing gum. This is about a guide who needs a guide. You're it. I mean, a real bomb here, Carver. The police even said so. You think I said it? No, I don't think you said it. And I can't imagine Benjamin Stepfield doing anything like that. It's just not his style. What am I saying? It's not the style of anyone I know. Oh, anyone. Yes, it is. Who? Your country bumpkin house guest. Why would Jack do something like that? Have you go on calling him Jack for one thing. For another, to enlist your sympathy to make it appear that he was a victim of some dreadful plot to get him to move on. But he himself said the bomb only made him more determined to stay. Which makes him appear brave as well as put upon. Oh, my dear, he said the thing himself, and then he left before it went off. Oh, Carver, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what to think about him. I don't know what to think about you. Well, what does that mean? You don't know what to think about me. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. My fault. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Don't trouble yourself. I'm fine. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's a nice suit. Is that real vinyl? I'm fine. You're fine. Good. Look, I'll watch where I'm going next time, man. I'm really sorry. Dad! Dad! You sure you're all right? Yes, I'm fine. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to Jack. Well, I do mind. Why? Because you're jealous? No, because it's pointless. After tomorrow, Mr. McCall won't be a problem. <laughs> you want the wallet? You pay me what we agreed on. Fifty for the day. Fifty covers bail. Now we're even. <sighs> Even, what's this, some kind of joke? Hijole, wolves have no sense of humor. I never knew that before. Hey, how'd you know to find him here anyway? Nobody puts on lipstick to go jogging alone. Hey, you mind telling me what you're looking for? In Alaska, we call it a sign. A sign that an animal's been through a certain... Don't touch that. A sign that the food isn't any good and the animals moved south. I said in Alaska, but I bet there's still some signs around. I could just figure out what to look for. Receipts, gas, bookstore, credit cards. Hey, what is the Ethan McComber Cousin and Residence Club? What? Well, cuisine, man. 
It's like a, a men's club with a restaurant, probably where he lives. You know where this is? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, great. You're from around here. How long is this going to take? Half an hour, maybe more. An hour. Seen glaciers move quicker than that. Meet me at the McComber Club. Stay. All right, doggy. I mean, Wolfie, excuse me, play dead, roll over, do something, excuse me, pardon me. All right. You play your cards, but I'll, I'll introduce you to some real dogs. All right. to run it through the car wash. Excuse me. You a member here? Of course not. Yeah, me either. I think it shows good taste. You have a Carver Shepherd around? I, uh, I've got his wallet. And may I ask how you came by Mr. Shepherd's wallet? No. Well, uh, if you'd like to leave the wallet, I can... No, 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 no. If, if I leave this wallet here, then how am I going to get mine back? You have Mr. Shepard's wallet, and he has yours. It was a great party. Well, uh, you, you can't wait here, so I, I would suggest outside, sure perhaps... I can. I'll just uh, take my boots off and lie down on that no, couch. No, no, no. Uh, You'll find him in the men's locker room. Mr. Shepard changes in there after his morning run. Thank you, sir. And now I can't find my wallet. Anyway, I had Constantine this morning down at Ocean View. A little power walk just to clear the air. Her father sheltered her so much, she just doesn't have a head for business. So, I finally persuaded her that this other guy's got to go. Then jog the 3K back here. What a day. What's this? Amazing. Yeah. There's still his honesty left in this world. You still interested in playing poker tonight? Uh, sorry, we're meeting the Groundhog people out at Golden Glow this afternoon. It may run a little late. I think I can get Constance out there. Let her hear how logical and reasonable their buyout offer is. I think I can get her to see the light. You're missing a good game. I'll take a rain check. Bye. See you later. The magical world of Disney will return after these messages. Afternoon. Afternoon, sir. I'm afraid you must be lost. 
No, this is, uh, this is the right place. I'm sorry, but you need reservations here at Golden Glow, and I know all I can see is a field this weekend. Well, you see, I'm, uh, I'm here for the fielding ground mark meeting. I'm afraid that's a closed meeting. Well, my friend here is part of the fielding family. What friend? This one. So mind your manners. Have a nice day. I'm with Fielding. Can you tell me what room we're in? I think they're in the tangerine room. Thank you. Miss Johnson, your 215 herbal wrap will be in the eucalyptus room. Miss Johnson, your 215 herbal wrap will be in the eucalyptus room. Excuse me, buddy. Uh, excuse me. The stretch and glow class will be held in the plumeria room. Low impact aerobics will be starting in ten minutes. Operator, can I help you? Uh, yeah, front gate, please. Thank you. I was looking for you in a place called the Tangerine Room. We're taking a break. My being here with Carver probably strikes you as a shh, shh, shh. Security guards. Uh, here. Wait a minute. I'm not running from any... What are you doing? You're soft. No, I, I mean that good. Uh, not... Many women are soft anymore, and I, I never knew that before. Look, I know how this buyout offer might seem a little hasty, but... You know, your voice is soft, too. I've been having a lot of uh, loud voices being thrown my way lately, and I like soft better. And, and I know how hard you've been working to do Besides, what Besides, I owe you one. I said that I would tell you how I knew this Carver fellow didn't have a whole lot of juice. Shake my hand. That's how he shakes hands. Well, I think you're reading an awful lot into a handshake. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a gentle handshake. That's how I shake hands. Yeah. Over the sums amortized over the period of the stock options, each member of the board will realize astonishing profits. Of course, all these things are negotiable, but we feel the end results will be beyond the shareholders' wildest imagination. Agreed, absolutely. I think we ought to get right on to the signing. 
Oh, but there are no questions. Questions? Why should there be questions? Carver, aren't you rushing this matter? Believe me, I'm not rushing this matter. My sense of timing is impeccable. The longer we wait... I think you've waited too long already, Carver. See, you've waited long enough for me to get here and tell these people how Mr. Fielding felt about these kind of deals and why he never wanted them to happen in the first place. He used to tell me there was two kinds of people in the world. There were builders and there were users. The builders did just that. They built things, strong things that could be counted on. But the ones he didn't want to deal with were the users. The kind who would squeeze the juice out of the orange and leave the rest of us with an empty pulp. Said he didn't ever want his companies to be part of that sort of thing. Didn't want his daughter to either. Because he didn't want her to be ashamed by such a thing. I think he'd be ashamed of what's going on in this room. I think some of you ought to be as well. What's going on here is open and above board. About as open and above board as a bomb planted under a bed. I had nothing to do with that. That's not what the maid said, Carver. What? She told the police, and they're on their way right now. The woman's lying. A sworn statement about how you paid her to let you in. I didn't need to pay her. I had a key. Aren't you going to go after him or at least call security? Actually, both. Gentlemen. Let's go. Sit here. Stay. No, go, 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 go. Hush. Not this. Not this. Oh, 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 oh. Not this. be something that would make you feel more at home. <laughs> Besides, when you told me, it seemed like such a good idea that I, I wanted to do it myself. <laughs> you, uh, you wanted to do what yourself? When a good mountain man dies, you put out a glass of whiskey, some biscuits, and a candle. You light the candle. And you wait for the wind to blow it out. And you drink a drink. And offer up a good thought. <clears throat> this is supposed to make me feel more at home. No, but this is. It might not be coming off a glacier, and it might not be as, as pure as the Yukon, but it, it's wild and it's free, and I thought you might like that. place. 